Hello and welcome to our homestead. Today I'm going to talk about a topic that not many homesteaders or people who like to prepare really ever think about. And it's extremely important that we do and we all start doing it right now. And that is our physical health. Let's talk about it. There are several reasons why I wanted to talk about this. One is because I just took a trip overseas where I saw the physical condition of the people in that area of the world. And then when I came back, it was a stark, stark contrast. And two, people who like to prepare for adverse events and who like to be more self-sufficient really need to focus on this and not many people do. Now there is a small subset of people out there who do talk about this topic, but not enough. And friends, I don't want you to think I'm just pontificating to all of you and that I don't need to do anything. I am talking about this because I also need to get in better shape. And I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I just currently bought a new weight set. I do a lot of physical labor here on the homestead and I do eat well, but everybody can always improve, including myself. And if you followed this channel for a while, you know the injuries I've had to my body over the course of time and working out and keeping strong is the only way that I can keep out of pain. But friends, let's talk about that trip I just took. We went to the Philippines to visit my wife's family and over there, the diet isn't great, but the physical condition of people just looks a bit better. Now, we also had a layover in Taiwan where the physical condition of the people looked starkly different than what it is in our country. Now, yes, this isn't a full sampling of each country, but as soon as I got back, friends, I saw people here, my fellow countrymen who can barely move. They're in electric wheelchairs and they're my age. They can barely walk. They can barely grab anything. They've got extra weight and skin just hanging off them. They look very, very weak. We're looking weak, friends, and we need to stop. We need to get back to the strength that we had, the physical strength, the mental strength, all of it. We need to get ourselves back in shape, and by doing that, we need to change our diets. Now, I'm not gonna suggest one diet over another to you. I adhere to a certain diet. If you want to engage me and ask me what I've done in my life, then cool. We can have that conversation. But I just want us to eat whole, healthy food. The processed food that we are eating is just absolutely destroying all of us. The chemicals that our government allows the food companies to put in that food is killing us. Let me give you an example. I am quote unquote gluten intolerant, but am I actually? Now I talked about this in a video before. Any flour that's grown in the United States or is exported to Asia, which is a lot, I cannot eat. It sends me right to the bathroom in probably 10 to 15 minutes. Now you're thinking, oh, yep, gluten intolerance, can't handle it, but that's not the case, friends, because I can eat full gluten flours that are grown specifically in Italy and Eastern Europe. Why is that? It's because those countries don't allow farmers to spray on certain chemicals, one of them being Roundup or glyphosate. I can go to the store right now and buy anything made in Italy, imported from Italy, with wheat flour in it and be completely fine. I can eat five loaves of bread with no problem. Those chemicals are making it into all of our food and it's hurting us really bad. So my body specifically told me no more because it would send me right to the bathroom, so I stopped eating it. But for some people, your body can tolerate it more, but it's doing other damage in your body. Friends, we gotta get back to eating whole foods. Now it's easier out in the countryside on a homestead if you're growing your own food, but have any of us had the opportunity to grow enough food to feed our entire family 24 seven yet? I certainly haven't, and I've had a lot of setbacks like our water well being contaminated. I can't use regular deodorants anymore. I have to use a special deodorant that doesn't have aluminum in it because if I put it on, it'll almost send me to the hospital. It will clog up all of my pores and I'll get an infection. That's how potent that stuff is and how it affects me. If I use regular toothpaste, Colgate, Crest, whatever, doesn't matter, regular fluoridated toothpaste, if I brush my teeth, the inside coating of my cheeks starts to peel off. I have to use non-fluoridated natural toothpaste. So I'm very thankful that these things 
actually happen to me so I could make the change in my diet and in the things that I use. But friends, I want all of us to take a look at what's in our cupboard and throw it out if it's got any ridiculous chemicals in it that don't need to be there. The list of preservatives and additives that you see on a can of uh, American whatever it is, it doesn't matter, compared to a can of the same European food is totally different. There's like five ingredients in this one and 25 in ours. Friends, throw it out. Start cooking for yourself from vegetables from the store. Now we can talk about organic versus conventional and what all that conventional stuff is sprayed with. I'm not gonna even go there because at this point, if you're still eating that highly processed garbage from the store, even eating the highly sprayed stuff, the vegetables, but cooking it for yourself, uh, that is gonna make a world of difference in your health. The other day, I took my daughters out for breakfast on our normal shopping day to the next big city, and we gather all of our stuff on one day so we don't have to take multiple long drive trips to do that. Anyway, we took them to breakfast, and there was this friends having a conversation at the booth behind me, and I could hear this guy. I think he said he was in his mid-50s, so I'm 50, and he was about 55, 56, I think he said he was. He had said that he had seven heart attacks. That is absolutely insane. I have zero idea how he was still alive. He was telling his friend how many stints he's had and, and all of these heart attacks. And then friends, I see uh, you know these videos of these, I like to watch ex-Special Forces guys. I think they're pretty cool. And like Sean Ryan, if you know who that is, I like to watch him. And I think he was talking one time how, or talking to a guest who was saying how the Chinese army and the Chinese people um, are just gearing up for war against one country, and that's us, because we're on top still. And the physicality of their soldiers is really harped upon, so you can see them really um, training physically for rough conditions and to just be stronger. And then, friends, I've seen some videos of our soldiers here, and I know a couple, that are overweight and out of shape, and yeah, they could be running drone operations, that's cool, fine, whatever, but you should still take care of your body. I see police officers who can't run, you know, 50 yards down the street chasing somebody, and I see people barely being able to walk who are my age. And friends, I can kind of compare myself in what has been done to my body over the years in terms of injuries and stuff, right? I broke my back in two places, I crushed every rib on this side, collapsed lung, broken collarbone, you know, you name it. Tore my knee apart twice, broke this wrist three times. You don't see me sitting around with a bag of chips on the couch. I'm not saying that's what other people do and I don't want to degrade anybody, but friends, we got to get our bodies back in shape. Our medical system is preying on us. If you want to talk about that, they just hand out pills like crazy because people go in for every tiny ache and they just pump the pills out and People don't think about eating better and lifting weights and walking. Walking is so huge for your health. Getting fresh air, getting sunlight, all of the above. We know these things. And again, friends, I don't want you to misunderstand me. I don't want to degrade anybody. But friends, if you're my age or a little bit older, maybe 10 years older, say you're 60, you're out on a homestead and you could barely move around, but you knew you wanted to get out of the city, get to a country lifestyle because you wanted to prep or you wanted to be more self-sustaining or whatever that is, you got to stay in shape. You got to take care of yourself first, please. And if you hear concern in my voice, it's actually true because I am concerned for everybody. When I walk around all the time here and I just see so many people barely able to walk and then I walk around in Asia and I see so many strong people. Although certain countries like Japan have started to go downhill since they adopted a Western style diet. Now you can find people over there who just eat out of vending machines, which is a big cultural thing, or go to the 7-Eleven which Japan owns now, and it's a big cultural thing, and their health is declining. The instances of colorectal cancer in Japan have skyrocketed. They're still below ours, but since they adopted a Western diet, they have skyrocketed. You saw me in the middle of this summer put in the new EG4 mini split 
heat pump and air conditioning unit here in my barn that runs directly off solar panels. And I told you at the time that I did that, that was so I could create a space that's conditioned in here to one, to store food products and to two, create a space where I could work out and lift weights and I finally bought that set. I like these, they're rubber coated and they've got these grips on them so they are much easier to pick up. In grad school 20 years ago, I was a lot bigger than I am now. I worked out constantly while studying and I lifted weights all the time. So you see me now, I'm totally different. If you look at videos from the beach, from walking down the street in the United States, from just any event in the United States, from 1965 and earlier, you would see hardly anybody is overweight or obese. And now the numbers of people who are out of shape like that have absolutely exploded. I've got friends who can barely move. They've moved to their homestead, they can barely get any work done because they can barely move. They knew they wanted to be out there, but they can't move. And their family is not on board with their new lifestyle. And that's unfortunate. And we're over an hour and a half away from them. We can't just jump over there and help them all the time. So it's important to have a good community around you as well who can help out. And friends, if you're battling an illness, I know a gentleman who does YouTube and his nickname is Owen Video. And I can't remember the name of his cancer channel, but he has battled a stage four cancer with diet and fasting and beat it. I'll link his videos for his cancer journey down in the description below the video. His experience and his journey, I know will be an inspiration for you and I hope it helps you out. Okay, friends, I want you to live a good, healthy life. If you've got any questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Have a beautiful, blessed day. See you next time. Bye.